Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice and welcome to the catch up volume 26. Another week we are back, back with the mandem. We have Jex here. Jex, what are you saying bro? How you, you're right. Top of the league. <laughs> We're top of the league. You couldn't even finish it. Come top on, bro. Are you going to start something? <laughs> and I've got, I'm we... good, bro. I'm good. I'm excited that we're top of the league. Yeah. We're going to get two gas, as I keep Trust saying. But it's good times, man. This ain't, we ain't experienced this since, since Sir Alex Ferguson, I don't think. Not yeah. by Christmas anyway. Not by January. So, True. all good, man. I'm happy. Trust me. And I'm what are you saying? Wow. I can't believe it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I woke up this morning to snaps. Like, everyone must snap. I didn't even have that much Manchester fans must snap. But everyone just putting snap off up us on the table in that. That was beautiful, man. It was good. It's a special one. A special sure. year. Trust me, guys. And of course, as usual, remember, guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share to everyone that you like and people that you don't like. Trust me. And this week, we definitely, you know, we're going to be talking about that delicious win against Burnley. Trust me, top of the table, like Jeg said, we are top of the table of Manchester United, Holics, bro. It is good to be us right now. It's 2021 has been a Good start for us, or should I say great? But I, what do you think, guys? I feel it's just good for now. Mm -hmm. When you get to May, April, not April, May, they will could say great. If we're still sitting there, they will could say great. But for now, very good. Very Ooh. good. So it's so a good start so far. But yes, we'll talk about that. It's, and of course, the Manchester United match, that 1-0 victory in the FA Cup against Watford. We definitely will be talking about the signing of Armour Diallo, guys. We've got a new player in the ranks, whether he's going to be in the first team or on the under-23s. That's a the, the debate to discuss. And we'll be talking about, the you know, the departure of Timothy Fosu Mensa, who has left for Bayer Leverkusen today. And also the match preview against those scout scums, Liverpool this Sunday one-on-one, -on -one, we'll be playing them. We'll talk about that, the preview for that, guys. But, of course, we start straight away with the game against Burnley. 1-0. Paul Abile Pogba. Eric Bailly. Nemanja Matic. You know? You know, man, like that. Harry Maguire today. Luke Shaw. You know? They were good. Well done to them. And of course, the manager and the coaching team for whatever they deployed in that game against Burnley. Kudos to you guys too. But yes, Manchester United are top of the Premier League table. 17 games in. The first time since Sir Alex Ferguson has left our club. Since then, 2013. And that was the last time we was first when we've played 17 games, guys. And it's just good. It's a good feeling. We just have to soak it up, soak it up. Let's live it for now, of course. We don't know how, where the season will take us, guys. You know, but for now, enjoy it. And please, that game against Burnley, 45, the first 45 minutes, absolutely dull. The next, the last 45 minutes, fantastic. Paul Popper stepping up, of course, to the plate. And people who say he does not step up to the plate, he has. Yeah, And, and that game, he definitely showed who he is, you know, what he's made of, carrying that team, scoring that goal. He's the one that put us top of the table, guys. So if all you pagans, all you media pagans, all you Twitter, you Kibu, Rory, social media pagans that's been hating on Paul Pogba, shut your mouth because, boy, he did it for us. He put us top of the table now. How do you like him now? You get me? Amok, bruv, that match... Sensational result for us. Not a sensational performance, but a sensational result for us putting us top of the league. How do you like, feel, my brother? Like I've been saying, I'm with Jags. Get the three point, the Ws, and hope to see what happens in May. Like, but all I gotta say is optimism. Like, how do you advise all Manchester fans to be optimistic? Like, let's just have like a good vibe, good spirit around the club itself. Because, like you mentioned, we haven't felt this way 
for you see, I've done this, I mean, seven years. Mm-hmm. Like after seven years, you know what I mean? Like, so I'm appealing to every Manchester fan to be optimistic. Like, we ain't got a choice but to back Oli. You've been mentioning that throughout the show, that we go back Oli. You have to. Like, we don't have no choice. They, 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 they the, the guys, they, like you said, at night, I can't even say too much. I watched the match with Jags. When he left, I had to go back and watch highlights. Like, I spent literally 30 minutes watching highlights because I wanted to see what done this, what that. I wanted to have, like, a proper... It was beautiful. Like, after the match, see what they said about Pogba. As a Manchester fan, I feel great. And just because I like Pogba as a player as well. Like, first you see every shit on football outlet, like, um, this channel, spot channel. Mm-hmm. All the puddings saying positive words about Pogba. That performance yesterday, remember, I don't know if it was last week or the week after, I did say, I quoted a line saying, um, if we sell Pogba, we are affecting all his um, transformation to the club because Pogba is already part of the club. So if I was the board, if I had the opportunity to talk to the board, I would tell them, you got to convince this guy to send up a deal. You just seen what he did yesterday. Bruno had not a bad game per se, but Bruno wasn't like the main guy yesterday. You get what I mean? I, I had an average game, but if we didn't have Bruno or had Pogba, he was gonna step up to the plate. Because Matic plays excellent when you got Pogba and Bruno in the same pitch with him. We've all seen that this season. When you got Pogba and Bruno with him, he's delightful to watch. You get what I mean? But like it was a beautiful way. Like I can't really say too much. I'm just gonna hold all the excitement, all the feeling in, because I don't wanna be them fans that just son, eh, yeah, we want nah. I'm just trying to absorb everything. I'm trying to keep it calm. <laughs> I'm trying to absorb it. Feeling, like just take feeling, it in. Composure. Like, like see, to when it gets to me, mm-hmm. I want that realization to kick in at me. Like you know what I mean? But it's too early, like you said before. Mm-hmm. But kudos to all the like kudos to the players, Oli, the the. He ever's behind whatever is going on right now. I know they've had like uh, like um um guy never said yesterday. They've had a lot of critic, like me, plus other people be criticizing this club. We ain't doing it because we hate the people that support the club or work for the club. We're doing it because we love this club. So when you see something positive, you, you just gotta give them like this is beautiful, brother. Like I can't I can't believe this. It's still I still can't believe it. So, Jex, bro, you as well, bro. bro. What are you saying about that? What are you saying about how you feeling like about that result, that game? Do you know what? Burnley away, yeah, that is one of the toughest, toughest away games because, like I said to you, Amok, yesterday, Burnley don't let you play football. Of course, <laughs> they, they don't let you enjoy life. They don't let you pass more than three or four times before you're getting a cross line and elbow. Like they're just very physical. And for us to get three points, perfect. Because I can see at the start of the season, that would have been a game where we would have lost or maybe we would have drawn. But the, 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 the vein of form that we're in now mm-hmm. is one of the reasons why we won that game yesterday. And of course, Pogba, he was delightful to watch yesterday. He literally did everything. I can't even think of something that he didn't do. Yesterday, he was Superman. So he deserved the man of the match. And because of him, we got the three points. It's all about the three points. We don't want to get too carried away. For me, I still feel like Oli's objectives is top four. Not top two, not top three. For me, it's still top four. Yeah, yeah, well, I believe so. In two months' time, that could possibly change. If there is a gap between maybe us and a few of our other competitors, then that could change. But for now, I think it's top four. Um, I am gassed. I am a bit excited that we're at the top of the league only because Liverpool are bitter rivals and we have them on Sunday. So that game's going to be peak. I'm just happy that we got the three points yesterday. So God forbid we lose on Sunday. I don't think we will, but God forbid we lose. We'll still be on matching points, you know? So good game yesterday. Cavani should have scored a couple though. He missed a lot yesterday. Even Matteo should have had a goal mm-hmm. at, the ending, at the end of the match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he definitely should have scored that chance, but he fluffed it. So it just really annoyed me. I was just thought, ah, oh, Michelle, man. Score that. Uh, Jags, well said, though. You hit all the points. Like, well said. 
But you know what, yeah? You know how they you always used to say, can you do it on a cold night, on a cold Tuesday <laughs> night in Stoke? They do say now, can you do it on a cold Tuesday night in Burnley? <laughs> and we did it. We did it again and again. Like, so you have to give kudos to the guys, is it? Jags, so big up to, to them and them, though. Like, big up to all of them, like the management and everything. Like, we ain't experienced this type of feelings for seven years. Bruv, I didn't have beard. Look at your face. <laughs> hey, I didn't have egg. Yeah, it's true. No, I never had a beard no, seven years ago. Like, you didn't actually, have beard. No, actually, I did. You did. You did, <laughs> I did. You did but wasn't not like this. Room. It wasn't it full. Room. The no, face was too so young. Like, yes. Jags, how well, how did you look seven years ago? Like, 2013. <laughs> less grey hairs. <laughs> like, Definitely less grey hairs. It's just, happy. I'm just happy that we ain't, we don't have to wait to like 40 to experience some of these good things. With this, like I said, optimism in the beginning, right? This mm-hmm. gives us a bit more optimism, like get up, uh, up, like hopefully by the end of the season, either win the league or come second. That would be a fantastic season for us. But hopefully we win this league. I want us to win this league. But guys, let's talk about Paul Pogba though. Hey, La Bile. His performance yesterday. Let's talk mm-hmm. about that, guys. Absolutely mm-hmm. brilliant yesterday, guys. You guys definitely saw how Paul Pogba played, you know, charismatic, you know, leading us into that game, seeing us through throughout that whole game, guys. It was good, man. And he deserves all the plaudits because for the last seven weeks, he's been playing well. Seven True. weeks, he's been playing well. True. He's been involved. Very good. Mm-hmm. True. I'd say well, last, last five, six weeks, yeah, yeah. He's been playing very well, actually. No, and- when was the last time you see that Pogba had a bad game? Because it's been it's that Tottenham been, game. That was a long time. That ago. was the that beginning was the of the season. season. That's the start of the season. But since then, no, he's been on the bench a lot. Do you know that? Remember, he's been on. But the remember, bench. He, remember, he just came out of the COVID thing, didn't he? So yeah, all he obviously had to make sure he stays on the bench because his physical mm-hmm. health. No, but um, you know what? Now you... that the COVID done, he's got back his physical health, which we, which I mentioned that T. Jags yesterday. No, but with COVID, it takes you a while good. to get back. Get Trust get back. Me. Because we, you saw that, like even Manny, uh, uh, say the Manny from Liverpool, is mm-hmm. getting the same, in the mm-hmm. same, like the same start they had last season. They ain't getting it this season because they all been victim of the same virus. Like that's what we got to do something about this. Like we hope the government here is in charge of this that get you help us because we miss what we used to do. We miss the going to the stadium. We miss having fun. We miss a whole lot of stuff. Like we, yeah. we really hope this get done really soon. Mm-hmm. Optimistic. Time to be optimistic. Definitely. Yeah, man. But, oh, just nah, Papa's the best. Good. <laughs> I can good. tell from your face that you was right. happy. Nah, he <laughs> is the best, man. Jax, no, nah, nah, no lie, no cap. He's exactly. the best. Jax, well, remember, I mean, is, for me remember, to say, for me to be so gassed about it, we just need to keep seeing more. And more. you know Not the technique on that goal. The months, technique on that goal. So. Brilliant. Yeah, it was a good goal. It was a deflected technique. goal. But a great no, goal. it's the technique of the strike. Like even they got deflection in it, it still looks yeah. beautiful. It, it still looks bro. beautiful. The way he took it, just it that very the, artistic. Everything about good, very good. The technique, like you said. But I mentioned, right. I, mean, I mentioned that to Jex yesterday. I told Jex I, I noticed Papa from the first half. Like Papa used more of his physical ability yesterday to control the midfield, and Maybe. that's what you want to see from Papa. Papa that's himself. what we want to see. Is Papa strong... was defensively disciplined yesterday. Yeah, especially in the first half. Did you see he at the first half he started off in the middle. He didn't really get himself carried too much, not taking too long on the ball. He didn't lose the ball that much. So yeah, yesterday he was defensively sound. He was. It was a very good. It was a good performance overall. It was. But mm-hmm. that's just to let you guys know that, the, like what I said, like two weeks or last week or two weeks ago, we've got a system. All he got these boys playing in the system. It's either Pogba or Bruno. You know what I mean? Van der Beek haven't got his chance yet. We haven't seen nothing from Van der Beek. You, you know what I mean? I ain't seen maybe. nothing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But Pogba, this is what I'm saying, like, because the media keep bringing this up. Like, it's something that we used to. Now I don't even get faced. As Manchester fans and the owners here, bro, we need to kick Pogba. Mm-hmm. We need to keep this player because remember, I've said that all is building the team, right? When, before Oli got the job, what was Oli's main objective? To build a team around Pogba, right? That's what the media said Oli came with Manchester, came to Manchester with, to build a team around Pogba. 
but we haven't seen that. I can't emphasize too much about Pogba because for me, I know who he is. I know what he's capable of. Just to see what he did yesterday, I, I'm not surprised. Like all I say, like I said, Jex, I'm with you. Jex be saying the things that I think every Manchester fan needs to hear. Like, let's just wait. If Kuba keep doing what he does, like week in, week out, like get W's, bro, we cannot say nothing about Pogba. The media angles have not, no reason to say anything negative about this guy. They'll find but, a reason, but it's not for us to even worry about what the media is saying. To be then honest. you know, he, the people can, the means you can sit and defend Pogba. Looking at the match, Eric, who has all played really well? Eric Bailly as well. Performance was very good. He was sweeping up the corridors. <laughs> Those defenders there that I love that can just clean up and sweep up everything, you know. Mm-hmm. Made Maguire look good, and to be fair, Maguire had a good game as well. Yeah, he looked, he, he looked a better defender, Maguire. He Maguire more... be looking, Maguire be looking good since Bay came into the league, uh, into the team. Sure. Like he looks more solid the past few games. I think Maguire is just happy that Bay is the guy that can come in and just do go for all them cr- crazy challenges. All yeah. those 50 50s, dirty him. work. That's what did he did. In the first half, did you see that ball? That ball, the man just flew and blocked the ball, and the ball deflected off him and went off. And that was like the first half, the second half. That's, that, was a, that's, that was the first half, actually. That was a goal. Mm-hmm. If he did not touch that ball, that was going in. Like, I want to see that. Like I said, like I said last time, he reminded me of um, 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 this uh, from Arsenal player. They give their heart, soul. Um, the, the Ivorian player, Kolochire. Oh, they give him everything, everything for the club. These are real, natural born players. Yeah, but he was immense, though. Very good, very good for um, what's it called Eric Bay. And Maguire is disallowed goal. What did you guys think of it? Because I thought it was unfair. I thought it was a goal. Me and Jags had a debate yesterday, but I'll let Jags mention, let Jags go, say, let me, uh, answer this one. <laughs> I'm 50 50. You know? I'm very 50 50. I think. I personally would have gave it as a goal, but going back and looking at it on the VAR, I can see why the ref has disallowed it. No, it's why is that? Him. He's kind of like slammed his head down his, his left like, hand. Yeah, the left hand was a bit actually mad. was like before he touched the ball, it was okay. But when mm-hmm. he was coming down, all his mm-hmm. weight and pressure put on the guy. So you, if you head. watch it over and over again. You can tell the referee That's was absolutely he's right. Got pussy or he's weak, bro. The, no, that the referee was no, man. the, the referee was right. Sport, you know? He didn't jump. <laughs> That's all it is. It's because the guy didn't jump. He didn't you jump. You remind yet, me man. of above the rim. I watched it yesterday. It's a man's sport. It's a man's game. It's a man's game. sport. It's a man's <laughs> game. Like you know, it's going to be aggressive and physical. And of course, to me, if you fa- when you're playing it fast forward instead of slow motion, because slow motion makes everything look ten times worse than what it is. True. Yeah. Yeah. It looked no. It looked normal, it looked fine. It just looked like Maguire just was just better man, stronger man, and it just came out of nowhere and just ball in the net. Bro. But did, I saw think the about, hands. Yeah, but I think about this. Everyone looks sure's tackle when it just happened. Everyone feels was normal, but mm-hmm. we all feel was normal. But mm-hmm. when they went back, as soon as they went back, I told James, No, this looked worse. I said, Look, was, in trouble. So, what do you think that was a red card? That was a red card. I said, I'm being a real Manchester fan. I'm, I'm, I'm 50, 50, do you know what? Do, 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 do you know what is? Do you know what is? Because his third was up, and he actually grazed my man's foot at the back. You cannot do them contact when your stars are up, and you touch the person. You can actually see the foot grazing my man's back. Uh, 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 was it cool? That's definitely the record. Look, sure was lucky to be in the pitch yesterday. Let's be real. Because I told Jax, I said, no, it's not looking good. That was a bad tackle. Mm-hmm. It looked ten times worse. When you're watching in, in slow motion. For me, yeah, again, another I know I'm sitting on the fence today, but that was another 50-50 for me. Um, if the ref did send off Shaw for that, sure. tackle, I would have I would have understood why. Because if your studs are showing, you're always leaving yourself in, in a bit of doubt, you know. Mm-hmm. So we're just lucky he didn't get sent off. That's true, man. Well, I just and he had a bill for match as well. He had a very good match. That was just the downfall about what he did yesterday. But other than that. Sure, thumbs up to you, man. Big up to them players there still. Say no more. I just thought it was yellow card, man. It was fine. Nah, man. that was <laughs> deep, man. No, it's I know the, I saw it. I saw it slow more. It's, the, it's not it's that the deep, studs. man. The guy no, got the, the ball, studs. like, I know it's the studs, but it's not that deep, man. 
But remember, you might not even you might not even touch the player. But as soon as you saw it last touch, we've seen players getting sent up in the Premier League just because their feet went up a little bit and they were seen under the studs. We've seen that. So it's and you know the, the league got new of procedures that new way that now if you injured, you cannot play. If you're bleeding, you go get taken out of the pitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, we do know that, that, but that was like, not going to do that, bro. No, but everything changes. So from the referee to stop the march because the initial foul was meant to be against Burnley and the own half. But because he went to the VAR thing, checked it, and he was like, no, Luke Shaw's foul was actually worse than this, this other one. And I said it to Jax, I'm a rule, I'm, I'm a fair person. I, I love Manchester, that's the club that support. But when we do something wrong or we deserve to get punished, I believe, like Jax said, Shaw was lucky not to get Sent off, but that was definitely the red card ball. So, guys, we're moving up straight into the next game. Of course, the FA Cup game against Watford. That uh, our second team playing against Watford. We won one nil, but the match itself wasn't the best, especially playing our second team, getting to see some of the second team players play. Players like Jesse Lingard didn't really impress. To me, again, like it's, to me, he's just like watching the bee just buzzing around the whole pitch because they didn't do, do nothing. Also, Dan James. Dan James. Had a terrible game. We all could agree he had a terrible game. He was my donkey of the match for that game. But th- th- just the whole game in general pff, wasn't that great. And to him, even, yeah? yeah, it was a dead game. Yeah. Even the fact that he brought Rashford on and also Martial on. Yeah, it didn't really change anything, you know. It didn't really do much. But that game was boring, guys. What did you think of that game? Um, first and foremost, I'm happy for Scott. Obviously, it was his first game as uh, captain of the team. Oh, yeah, Captain Scott. <laughs> and he got us the winner as well. So that's good stuff for him. But for me, that game just indicates and shows us that our squad is not ready. We need a better second team. Our second team is not strong enough. And I feel like over the next two transfer windows, we need to keep continuing to build our squad. I don't want us United fans to get satisfied with our first 11 and think that our first 11 are, we're very good. Look at how we've been performing. Look at Bruno. (laughs) If Maguire, Bruno and Rashford get injured, Mm -hmm. what are we going to do? We need a better second squad. And that game just showed it because Watford dominated a lot of the team, a lot of that game. So, um, yeah, we're, ne- we're through to the next round, but it wasn't a great watch for me, man. It wasn't a great watch. No, but Jax, if Bruno gets injured, we've got Van de B, we've got Donny there. If, mm-hmm. if Rashford gets, would you say Rashford, right? Obviously, certain men think Daniel James is good, isn't it? Because I do see it on chats and forum groups, big enough Daniel James and like... Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have seen it. Daniel James or Rashford, replacement. <laughs> No, no, no. If he gets right. injured, we've got Daniel James, didn't it? Because we've got uh, we've got fans that I've seen on Facebook that will talk about talk bad about Marshall, but saying that oh Daniel James, I'd rather see Daniel James, blah 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 blah, right? X, Y, and Z. I was like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> what? I, don't understand. I, I would love to see Marshall play week in, week out than Daniel James. Like James is actually a good player, but the end product is actually poor. The game that you just mentioned, he played, I think, in terms of Passing or running up people, who was good, was just the final third. If I was to read that from one to ten, I would mm-hmm. give him two. Two. So which means he lost eight. Nah, the final third was poor. Was he, poor. The final third was poor. He definitely needs to go back in it, Jason, and do some studying, bro. Because the final third is where the creativity is lacking. Him yeah. and Rashford. The part of his brain is just shut down, man. I don't know. Ah. But he made a dribble young. that He's actually did like... Made what? a dribble that I liked. Yeah, but then but, what did you do with it? Like he passed the ball. He passed the ball to the other to the, the opposition defender. And I was like, oh. you no, dribbled but... all the way, came in there, and mm-hmm. he passed the ball to the defender. Like it's upsetting. Like no, Jags, like it's Jags. You've been everything you've been saying this past three, four weeks. I've, I've been seeing them with you. Spawn, like spawn, like we don't like our second team needs to be better. We used to error the. Like Van Gaal's first second season, we didn't know which one was first team because mm-hmm. he ever comes in, can do bits. Mm-hmm. We used to that. When Ferguson left, that's the same thing that we had. We had players who were high quality players that would love to come to Manchester, sit on the bench, just to wait 
because they want to manage by Ferguson and play in the Premier League. This is the attraction that Manchester have always had, and we think we still got it. We ain't got it no more because the guy he had the attraction is not with us no more. But oh, we need to do better in, when it comes to the second team. Or I think all his team choice that they wasn't bad, mm-hmm. but the players did not deliver for him what I think he must have told them to do. They did not. Yeah. Trust me, over a dead game, bro. What a shit game to watch, man. Even though we're through, we're playing Liverpool, guys, you know. How do you guys feel about that in that we're, we're actually playing Liverpool in the FA Cup? It would be good. Oh, oh, yeah. No, we funny. drew Liverpool. You know what? Where, where have you been? Wait, we drew Liverpool. And for the Old Trafford. I don't know, but we drew Liverpool. And then I hope it's in, I hope it's in Old Trafford. Yeah, that's next round. I hope, no let me just check one second. Let me check, man. Because I, and I don't know if you don't notice something about the match as well. That was gonna mm-hmm. actually I like why was McTominay the captain when you got Marcus started? Yeah, I know. I understand. Come on, Scott, he's a homeboy, isn't it? He, he no, was but, the club, was a but the club been we've got tradition in the club. The oldest, the, more experienced old players, traffic, by the way. Okay, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Should be the my, the captain. But I, 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 don't, I was going to ask that though. Why did Oli choose Scott ahead of Because Oli says that, of course, he's got the United DNA and he's a, shows the characteristics and he's a leader in it. That's the reason why. Well, well, it's it's all the vibes in it. No, he did good. Marcel's not a leader. Marcel's not a leader. No, Marcel's no, not a leader. Marcel's Marcel a command on the pitch. Marcel is a quiet person. Matter. Matter. Oh, Matter. Sorry, Matter. Matter. No, Matter. Matter was, Matter was in the pitch. Matter. Yeah, Matter was in the pitch. Why right? didn't Matter come? Yeah, but you know, you know, Oli was yeah. just testing and trialing like he is with you. No, him. but this is this. Is, we go talk about education. This is a young star. Mm-hmm. If you like a young star, he haven't really got that much experience. He won no title or nothing. Captain the whole Manchester team. We need to go Matter or the or, or the hair or someone more, much more experienced. Not the end was David. Anything was in goal. Well, it was anything. But I think Matter would, would have been it most appropriate person to wear the captain band because he's been at the club more experienced he's got probably the world cup champions league these are things that other people are looking up to because they look up to these players mm-hmm. Matt is actually one of the uh, his his talent you can't not you, you just gotta learn from it so for me individually i felt like that was a mistake because this young that's this 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 this, this, this is some of the reasons why these youngsters don't learn because you already been you already given that big person's boot to fit you when you fit you nice you're not scared of the danger which is good but which means when it comes to showing respect you won't respect your orders because you already do what they do and this is got set this is precedence that got set by us the parent for all is the manager you, i thought that was wrong that's something i just gotta say I, i'm just gonna let it out i thought it's wrong for you to do that so what you did you think that was wrong no i feel like it was good for him to have that bit of experience you know um and I feel like watching Scott, he has some characteristics that can make him a leader in the future, you know? I, I see that. A leader in the and future. I said that my match reaction, that he has that. But to be captain now, no. as, a, yeah. as, a, as a trial... It's a bit mad, a bit mad but mm-hmm. I feel like Oli just threw him in there. You want to be captain this once. Let's see what you're going to do. And he won us the game. He played very well. So he, he stepped up to the plate, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah... I kind of agree a little bit with what you're saying, Amok. It's just too soon. Ooh, yes, yeah. we move on straight, guys. So we have signed Amen Diallo from Atlanta. Of course, we all knew that we signed him from September's deadline day, pending for him to arrive in January for work permit reasons and etc. So, of course, he has joined the club. It's been completed. The transfer has become confirmed. So he's now with us. Whether he'll be in with the first team, like I said earlier on, whether he'll be in on the 23s playing there, we don't know. We'll find out because he's had his first day at Old Trafford today at Manchester United. Just it's good, it's a good feeling to come in, a good camp to come in, especially when you, the team has just reached top of the table. So he, it probably was a good day for him because everyone in the, in the training pitch will probably buzzing from the result against Burnley. And then we have also lost. Mensa, who's left Mensa? for Bayern for Bayern Leverkusen. Bayern Leverkusen, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's with with thoughts of Mensa, I feel like his time was up because he wasn't really involved. And I felt like the potential was never reached. 
mainly because of injuries. My man got injured too many times, guys. Too many times. And also his loan moves, I'll be honest with you, they were unsuccessful. They were really unsuccessful. And he was trash when he was on loan as well. He was getting moved to, and he was dropped. So that departure, that's all I can say is that I could just wish him the best of luck, you know, at Bayer Leverkusen. He's gone to a good league, a good team as well. So, yeah, he could do, he could still come back, you know, and do well for his own career. With Amadiolo, the Ivorian brother, uh, welcome, because you're Ivorian, but that doesn't mean I will favour you, you know. <laughs> We've signed a player, 18-year-old player, that's probably just played four games in his professional career, guys, you know. Four games, and we spent almost 40 million euros on him. So... I know with just the same thing like Pelestri, he's not on the 23. Why do we, we need a right winger straight away? I was upset when we when we done that. Is this going to be the same thing with Diallo? Because I feel like the guy's only played four professional games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, what have you really seen? Like, because I haven't so seen if you if you're I, to ask unless me, I go on I'll, YouTube. If you're to ask me, I'll say do the same for what Manchester done with Pelestri and let him play in the under 23. Mm-hmm. Like at least because he got six less than six months, so he can integrate himself properly into the team as in general. So next season, bring him, bring him into the first team. But remember, I said this to you. I mm-hmm. want us as Manchester fans to be patient with this kid. No, but I'm not patient. Not... Spent just the same amount of money they spent on um Van der. It don't matter. Yeah, that's that's, don't matter. that's that's a player that's matter. supposed to be. Jake, do you agree with me? That's a player that's supposed to be yeah, involved I understand. in the first team. You I don't understand a, a, a 18 year old to be around that particular price. I understand on 23. So he, he well, when are we to come into the first team? Because he wasn't in the first team, too oh. tough where he was, where he came from. Yeah, so, but when are we gonna start planning for the future? Other teams be doing it. Yeah, so, but like I said, plan for the future as well. But make sure your first team is good. Yeah, but our first team, our first team to be honest with you, ain't really that bad. Like we all know where we need to improve on. You ask me, Amok, what play do you want to what would you play do you want to sign? I'll say <laughs> sign yourself, sign our center half. Let's sign a center half. You get what I mean? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, that's one position that I think any Manchester fan or all Manchester fan know we need to improve on. You okay, get what I mean? We need that now. We, we need it now. now. So like this, is what I'm saying. So us buying other players like these youngsters, that like I said this. Everyone been training to become one of the best players for Manchester United as a club to spend almost 40 million on someone that haven't really touched that much football yet. This is I'm just let just, just like a revised psychology, right? When we signed Mattel, I didn't know nothing about Mattel. You was the same person that told me half trust in this guy. This guy was the guy. Yeah, but at, at that time, time Marshall and, was playing first team football. First team's football. Campus but how old was Mattel? Well. Yeah, Mattel was no, he already 90, had right? at least it was a 19. season and a half under his it belt. It was 19. Yeah, it was but, 19. No, he came to us at the age of 18. Yeah, 18. Okay. But he already had a season and a half under his belt. Give this, give, give this kid a chance. Mm-hmm. I, like for me, individually, I believe Manchester did the right thing. Yes, just get, I, I just like, don't believe he's going to be believe. playing. He's going to be involved. Too tough. Man. Not this season, not this season, but next season, if he prove himself like they were Palestrian doing it on the twenty threes, I promise you he will make it in the next season. But that, again, Jets, we need that now. We don't need well, six that months later. Focus, but so what about tomorrow? Focus. We keep talking. But what now, about now, today? We, we, today <laughs> we're sitting on top today? of the league today. We did about we, did, we, sit, we we are sitting on top of the league today. Let so me what about something. tomorrow? What happens tomorrow, tomorrow? can wait. Right now, you're waiting for tomorrow. You cannot right? wait for tomorrow. tomorrow. Can wait. So you got to make preparation today. for tomorrow now. What about you got to make today? preparation tomorrow you can, now. You can make preparation for tomorrow, but that and can wait. That's what the club done already. No, we don't have to wait. That wait. can wait. Listen, same, listen, lads. Calm down, lads. I agree with same, both of you. The same will be waiting for the same will be waiting for Poch to come United. Let what happened to Poch? Any guy, but any any guy was a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go off topic. Man. All right, Jigs. What you hey, Listen, for me, it's a case of we need both because if we're gonna get a youngster to come in and not play under somebody that's world class or somebody that's experienced to coach them and to teach them, it's not really gonna work. Even like with Rashford, I felt like he didn't really have someone to play under. You know, 
when Rashford's having a bad game, pull him out, bring someone else in, older, so Rashford can sit down and watch him and well take said. his notes well and do his thing. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So I feel like we still need Sancho to come and play on the right hand side. And then we can even still use Diallo to come in as a backup, as a substitute next season. Mm-hmm. Greenwood is still an option. Greenwood can still play up front. It's a it's a season of fifty plus games. We need. What to have made the Premier League? World. What made the Premier League the best league in the world? Because of competition, right? Mm-hmm. So the only thing if we got all these players competing for position in Manchester United, then if we will be competing for titles. Yes, we would, but I would like to have that now. That's why. That's why. Yeah. But it's too late. If we, we're all in, in the middle of the season, so it's too late. It's mm-hmm. the deal that the club done. All we can do is just give up opinions about stuff. But based on what I think about the future for the club, I've seen man. No, I'm, I've always been critical with Manchester United. But for the first time, I actually give them thumbs up because I think this was, for me, was the right move. Buy people now for tomorrow. Like you all said, what if we lose Pogba? What if we lose this, we lose this? Potentially would. That's why we signed Donny van der Beek. I'm probably going to end up yeah. signing Jack Grealish. He's, well, if we get Grealish, no, come on, man. You know, I can't say nothing. I've been saying that for almost two seasons now. <laughs> I, I want him. <laughs> I want Grealish. He would you go for Grealish or Sancho? I'll go for Grealish. Uh, we need a I'll go for Grealish. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. If Grealish. We've got Van der Beek. I Sancho because... I need a right winger. Right winger. We've needed that for years and years and years, man. Since Ronaldo. No, it's true, though. Like, it's true. Uh, but Since you know what Ronaldo. it is, yeah? Grealish just got the Manchester United charisma. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Because whenever I see this player, I see him as a Manchester United player. This is the first time I'm actually saying this about a player. Because I'm really critical when it comes to you players that I want my team to sign. But he's just got everything, he's got the whole package. Yeah, man, I agree, man. I agree. Well, yes, guys, let's move straight up to the game against Liverpool this Sunday on a Sabbath day. Hey, yo, Patrick, big on up to day. LA. Patrick, hold on one second. Big up what? to your glasses. You know, your glasses are looking decent still. I know, you know, I'm not a glasses bro. person, you know. Elite but I'm wear. really, fe- I'm looking at, I'm looking at the thing, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna have to cop me one still. No, I'm not other way glasses, but I'm man, feeling that still. As guys, if you send me the link still, you want need that, that link. Check the description, comment below, elite eyewear. You know, you'll get the links for the Instagram page and the website. So get to buying, guys. But as I was saying, back to that game on a Sunday, on a Sabbath <laughs> day, on a Lord's Day, you know, on the on the church day, on the prayer. That was day. the day I was born. I was born on yes. a Sunday. Yes. Same same yeah. Well, Jax, you know what time it is. Trust me. Manchester United will be playing Liverpool. Top of the table clash. You know, first versus second. You know, and first being Manchester United, second being those scouts come who can smell our farts now because we're right on top of them and they're behind us now. Do you get me? Yeah. I'm very sure you Liverpool fans can smell it as well. <laughs> but guys, we will be if we was if we win, six points clear off of Liverpool. If we lose, we go back second, level on points. But if we draw, we are where we are. That's How do you guys pointer, feel? Man. That's what you call a six pointer. It's gonna be peak. Yes, it's that match. Based on Liverpool's current performance. I could go, I could, I, I could, I'm actually, if I were to put myself between percentage, I would say I give Manchester United 70 to 80% chance to win. Because Liverpool have been good. They've been really brilliant this season. But in the same Liverpool that we've seen from last season, and we've seen the same players that was outstanding last season, making hella mistakes this season. Yeah. And you see, when it was Manchester, Manchester against Manchester City, I did say, I said it was going to be tight. Because I saw Manchester season, uh, Manchester United, uh, uh, Manchester City performances within the past few weeks, and I got scared. I didn't want us to play them with that type of performance, because I knew. But like we said, we just got to be optimistic when we see certain things. But based on what I'm seeing with Liverpool right now, we got a chance. Like remember, the first thing I said in the show was, let's all Manchester fans be optimistic. The club is doing great. We haven't seen ourselves doing this. Let's go in there with that same feeling, right? We don't care if we play in the Anfield. The fans are in there. They ain't there. It's so us. It it's just us. Field, man. Yeah. So let's see what happens. What about you, Jez? How are you feeling about that game? Do you know what? Um, 
United, we don't really capitalise. But to see us capitalise yesterday and get that win against Burnley mm -hmm. is giving me small, small confidence, you know. Small, small confidence. But the fact that it's at Anfield, the fact that... Winefield. It's at Anfield. Winefield. Um, the fact that, like I did say just earlier, we don't always capitalise when we need to. I want to be cautious and go for a draw. I still feel like a draw at Anfield is an excellent result. That's so I feel good. like... That's Oli will be a specialist. He will play five at the back. He will play Scott and Fred. Mexico he will tell will Fred to... <laughs> Listen, it's going to be a <laughs> masterclass. I'm hoping for a nil, not even a nil, nil, a one, one. Maybe we can nick a goal in the last minute. I'm not sure, but I'll be happy with a draw. And we all be happy for draw, though, but mm -hmm. how do you see the way the club, the way Manchester's playing right now, and your Liverpool's playing? Like in we both we all know the rival. I don't know for the past three four seasons when we play Liverpool, the rival is even more intense than us play Man City and any other team. So just because of that, I'm really optimistic. And I see how and I, I've watched this documentary. See how the players get motivated just to face Liverpool. Mm -hmm. So just because them things there, I'm optimistic. We are on the top of the table. So this is. This is another test for Oli to show his managerial skills, like his abilities, because you already are the on the top of the table. So what we will expect you to do, like get us a draw, because we're playing away, but it would be lovely if we get that free point. It no, but be. definitely the mentality is to go there to win. Go like, there, win. If you go and plan to draw, you lose. That's what we're going to do. Let's go be last year. Do you think Oli is going to go to Anfield and try to play there? No, but you gotta try and play sometimes when you have oh, the ball. When uh, you have the ball, it's to play. But when you don't have the ball, I'm always with I'm all, I'm always gonna be with Jags, man. Like I, I I I understand what you're saying. I'm are you saying it? I can just picture it. Because yeah. you see, it's because of uh, references. As much as we all want to be optimistic, happy for Oli, but it's just what we've experienced, like as Manchester United fans. It's really, really hard for us to just say, Oh, we're all gonna win this match, hundred percent, hundred percent. You can't not hear 100% coming from any Manchester United fan. You must be delusional. So you got yeah. Anfield and get 100% win. You're delusional. Like, only thing we can say it's 50 50, but we, because of, like I said before, optimism, we hope that we get the three point. Like you said, late winner, clinch the three point, mm -hmm. six point ahead of Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Why? Do you know what? Uh, I've always spice. Mm -hmm. Very good point. I would actually love for us to go to Anfield and play open, attractive football. Even if it meant us not getting packed in, but even if it meant us conceding one, two goals, I will prefer that for than for us to sit back and have five at the back and be very pragmatic and just... <laughs> yes, but all I'm saying is that it's to go there with a positive mind, you know. Don't go there planning to draw because planning to draw ends you losing the match. As you this go is planning to nick a win, you know, in this kind of game, which would mean keep it together, keep things tight, but keep the ball, minutes. you know, mm -hmm. keep the ball, do play well with the ball and create opportunities. It's not to sit back, it's to be positive, just to play positively, not to defend. Like, you can defend. We, would defend. we will defend in moments, you know, because of course, Liverpool will have the, Liverpool will have more the the ball. Ball. But when we do have the ball, it's to keep it together, keep it composed, you know, Slow, patient, build up, play. Do not speed it up all the time, but just stop trying to be as direct. Because when we play away sometimes, being direct, we're just giving the ball away and just making sure that Liverpool retain the ball, get the ball back and continue going at us. So to, on Sunday, I just want to mention that to do well with the ball. That's all I care about. Do well with the ball and then you can see a result of a win because we can nick a win. If we go there with a positive mind, positive attitude, positive mentality in terms of the way we're playing, we're going to still go there, still attack them. But as well, we're going to defend, but keep ourselves tight. But when we have the ball, we must be composed and just go at them. Simple as. Don't play straight up, like just pass the ball straight away. Mark Strath try and be as direct and ends up passing the ball off the pitch because he doesn't know what to do. Don't do that, bro. Bruno, one time maybe, passes. Maybe for that, though, because you uh, know how their fullbacks are very attacking. 
But you, so, that's what I'm saying. Time, if you do it, with Bruno and Pogba, right. we can find those passes. Yes, but you do it right. Because that's sometimes like they do it. Bruno does it first time. He's not looking. No one's there. You, you, I'm like, <laughs> who did you pass to, bro? Like that's what annoys me the most. Do it well. You have. Do you know what I think will make us win this game? Well. Do you know one thing that I think if Manchester United you know, as a team in all you can actually train these players from now to Sunday, put that's something that they actually go take on board for that game. Play, don't lose the ball, keep the ball, don't lose the ball the retention. Ball. Ball we retention need to keep that. I, I told that I said that yesterday, I mentioned that to Jax yesterday, watching the match. I got really annoyed that we didn't keep the ball. Our passes were sloppy. The other teams play better. I see them doing more creative things with the ball than us. But it's just that when you get the ball, you see more quality. And I don't care about quality sometimes. Because some, sometimes you don't have players, you got enough techers to do what other players do. Like, for example, T- McTominay ain't got that much techers. But when you're on the ball, you see the the, 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 the arrogant, like, the, 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 the wants that I want this, I want this. You see, with the ones he does, the exceptional, which we love about him. So mm-hmm. for me, if we can keep the ball against Liverpool, we, I promise you, I will go to Liverpool and field and get 100% believe that we're all going to win this game. But yeah, so just that do. little bit that I feel, because we don't keep the ball. I never seen us keep the ball for like three, two, three minutes straight. It's just like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds. It's annoying. It's you, annoying. You keep the ball. Do that, you don't want to do that because no. these they got players that keep the ball. They got players that actually dangerous. We got players, but remember, this is the Premier League. It's the highest competitive league in the world. And you're playing not just the Premier League winner, but the former Champions League winner, the one of the best clubs in the, the they actually named the best club in the globe. So we should keep all of this in mind, not because of our current state of performance or because we're sitting on top of going, going there getting gas. No. Go there with the same mentality that Ferguson inducting these players from back in the days. Like, mm-hmm. this is our rival. Forget Man City. Forget Arsenal. No, Liverpool. Because when it came to the trade, of, of, even in the country, trade war during back in the days, it, it was in London. It was between Liverpool and Manchester. So that's always has to go on. So tell these three players and keep the ball. I promise you, we will do bits against Liverpool. We just need to keep the ball. Okay, to end the show, guys, of course, we have come to call the end. Me, I put it to draw. That's my best. So <laughs> what about you, Jags? <laughs> one, one. And what about you, Amuk? I'm going for the rain. Like, it might be 2-1, 3-1, three, three or 3 two. I'm going for United to get the W hub. Oh, so that's that's I mean, it feels like he we will win. I'm hoping so, you know. Prayers, you know, and you know, I'm never in this mood, I've always been the <laughs> yes, but the guy I, that could say me and Jess will always take a draw. We just don't want to lose, we we just we cannot lose against Anything those no, teams. It's best, it's, it's best on the opposition, like it's just like you know, like Jex always said, our expectation when it comes to Liverpool, my position never changes. It's just a fun, it's a fun thing for me in Liverpool. I don't like them. I never want to see us lose against them. Definitely. So I will never say I never say draw or, or lose. I always go for my team to win. Because we're playing Liverpool, the Scousers. Yeah, like you know. always say I've got spice. We always beat the Scousers. Like you always say I've got spice. We always we need to beat the Scousers. Exactly, bro. But yes, guys, it's been a fantastic show. Great debate. Hope you mentioned that whole so feeling very well and going to Wolves Sunday. Let's beat those scousers or take a draw. We just can't lose. That's all we want. Manchester United, we just want to win or a draw. Simple as. Ole, do your thing, bro. Do <laughs> your thing on Sunday. And, and of course, guys, we end the show with, of course, the usual social media shout outs. Of course, you'll see it underneath on the sides. But, Jags, where can the people find you? Uh, find me on Instagram, Jags underscore United. And Amok, where can the people find you? Instagram, um, pretty flack underscore 16. And you can find me on Ivorian underscore Spice for the Instagram and also the Twitter. And also do remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV one. And of course, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. As always, remember to share 
share. It's been a good week. Enjoy it. Enjoy sipping like a smoke cigar, drink the champs, roll it with spliff for the next couple of days. Enjoy it, Manchester United Holics, bro. It's the end of the show. And of course, as I always say, remember to keep it united because we are on top of the table. And remember to keep it red united. Red united. We are out. Peace out.